Hello! In this video I'm going to show you how to knit a twist headband with a textured stitch pattern. This is a really easy stitch pattern that consists of knit and purl stitches. It's knit flat on 6mm US 10 knitting needles and the yarn that I'm using is West Yorkshire Spinners Retreat. Um, I'm using circular needles to knit this flat um, but you can use straight needles. I just don't have straight needles in this size so I'm using the circulars. Um, to begin with um, you need to cast on 22 stitches. So I'm going to use the uh, long tail method so I'm going to cast on 22. Once you have your stitches ready, just give them a count to double check. You are ready to start the setup rows. So to set up, uh, knit two rows. When you've completed the two setup rows, you are now ready to begin the pattern. You will need two stitch markers, um, and this is going to help you to know where the edge stitches are. So for row one, this is the right side, you will knit two, pick up 
place a marker then knit one purl one repeating until you get to the last two stitches When you have the last two stitches left, place another marker and then knit two. Okay, turn the work and you're ready for row two and this is the wrong side of the work. So knit the two edge stitches slip the marker and then knit three, purl one, repeating until you get to the last four stitches. When you get to the last four stitches, you will knit two, slip the marker and knit two. Okay, turn the work, ready for row three. Row three, you will knit two stitches slip the marker and then knit one, purl three, repeating until you get to the last two stitches. When you reach the final two stitches, slip the marker and knit two. Turn the work, ready for row four. So row four, knit two stitches and slip the marker. Then knit one, purl one, repeating until you get to the last two stitches.
slip the marker and knit two. Turn the work, ready for row five. Start by knitting two. and slipping the marker. Knit one, purl three, and repeat that until you get to the last four stitches. When you have the last four stitches, knit one, purl one, slip the marker and knit two. Turn the work, ready for row six. Knit two, slip the marker, Knit one, purl one, knit three, purl one. Then repeat knit three, purl one until you get to the last two stitches. Slip the marker and knit two. So that is the six row repeat pattern and you will repeat rows one to six until the piece measures 19 inches. Um, you can make it longer if you want or shorter, it depends on the measurement of your head. Uh, mine is around 22 inches so I did um, 19 and then after that you will knit two rows and then with the stretch um, it has a, a good fit. So for the when you reach the final uh, 19 inches you will then knit two rows to complete um, the small border after that, um, you will want to make up your headband. So you can leave a tail for seaming, thread it through a darning needle or a tapestry needle. With the right side facing you, fold two uh, the two edges in and then offset them as so, picking up those edges, placing them together and folding one edge over the top and one edge in the bottom. So like you've got a sandwich of the edges. Then with the needle, when you're happy with that, grab the needle and start seaming through those edges, making sure that you catch all of them um, when you push the needle through. So just seam through those until you get to the end.
and you can check if you're happy with it before you decide to weave the, the end in. Um, and you can just weave it through like this. You can check it to make sure you're happy with it before you decide to chop the yarn in case you want to undo it and try it again. Um, but this is what it will look like. So it has a twist in the front. And you can chop that loose end and weave the rest in. And it's ready to wear. So it's a very short project, probably take you an hour or two to make. Uh, great for making gifts. And um, yeah, that's it. So you can find the full pattern instructions on my website. The link is in the description and you can see the printable PDF in my shop uh, as well, which has all of the step-by-step -step photographs that you need uh, if you're a beginner. So I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and thank you for watching. Um, you can give us a like and subscribe, which would be great. Till next time, see you later.